Well, today we've got um, a festival, uh, part of the World Cup Series event that obviously Warrington play against St George on Friday night. Uh, we just thought we'd bring it into the local community and set up our own little competitions. So we've got uh, under 7s, 8s and 9s throughout the Warrington Borough, uh, competing in round robin tournament with the winners. Uh, we'll play before the St George game on Friday night. Uh, sorry, the winners of each group will play before that. And uh, then the winners of that game will get to lead the sides out for the, the main game itself. So a little bit of an incentive for the kids, but it also gives us a chance to uh, put something on and show what a community club uh, we are at the minute. Yeah, it's pretty cool for us. Um, it's a good opportunity to put some smiles on kids' faces and uh, we got through a few hundred kids, which is good. Um, took a couple of photos and signed some autographs, so it's always good to put back to Rugby League and um, um, I hope they enjoyed it today. A lot of Warrington shirts here in the crowd. Uh, do you think you've turned any, any of the Warrington fans around? I think we've seen two St George footballs and two jerseys out of about three or four hundred, so, um, but that's expected. You know, obviously uh, Warrington got a great following here and, and, and so they should. Um, they've played some good football over the last you know, few years and um, hopefully we've, even if they don't support um, the Dragons, ho hopefully they support um, Rugby League, which is good. Yeah, I've been really surprised. Like you come out here, probably about a thousand people here today. I didn't expect that at all and you can tell they're all buzzing about the game and I'm sure they'll get behind us at, at the ground as well and turn up. Uh, it's going to be a great occasion. Obviously the occasion of Friday is something that's really different for, for the fans uh, and it's clearly making a bit of excitement down here. Oh yeah, like I said, the, the team's buzzing, Like obviously you can tell the town's buzzing about it and uh, the lads can't wait to get out there and play. I'm sure the St George boys are the same, they, they come over here to bet, I bet they're a good opportunity to play in England and um, it's going to be a great competition and I think it'll be awesome for the game. Yeah, definitely, that's what uh, we're all about is growing the sport, we want to see it expand. So. These little things help out the community, help out everything and help out the rugby league community as well, like for, almost foremost. So. And what do you expect from the game? A, a great opportunity for NRL to play Super League, not often that that gets to happen. Yeah, it doesn't get off, uh, happen much. It's one, one time a year usually, but this year there's, there's three games being played, which is good for the sport. There's going to be a lot more fans that can go watch the games in different areas. So it's going to be a good, good experience. There's going to be some, a lot of Warrington fans begging for their hometown, so it's going to be good. You know, I think on the field it's going to be you know, a real battle. But, um, you know, after after any game, you, after the game, you shake hands and you know, all best of pals. So, uh, as I say, whatever happens on the field, stays on the field, and then afterwards, we're all good mates, shake hands and say well done. So, I'm sure their boys will be looking forward to it. You know, a new challenge for them, and certainly a new challenge for us. Hopefully, one to get the win off the Super League and, and start the series with the, that win. Yeah, we're our first game, so hopefully we can, you know, get one. Uh, it'll be one nil over on the Aussies and. You know, Super League come out uh, come out on top over the the weekend.